I don't make them. I just am. But yeah, I have a small list of characters that I have to get through before I can do anything, and I'm almost through it. I love this one, though. Jesus. Okay. So this one's not done, but... Yeah, that's everything. That's all I got. There's, there's Cauldron. Dude, he looks so good! He's so huge. He's so thick. I mean, you saw his skeleton. I pretty much matched the Stark proportions. He just matched his under. <laughs> It might not be the most troll-like body proportions, but I matched what was in-game. You matched his oh, freak. Yeah. All my freaky, freaky characters are on the horizon. Captain uh, Leon is closer than I thought. Let me announce that I'm live real quick. Oh my god, you're live? That's crazy. I've, I've yeah, I know, that's crazy. Oh, here, you guys want the character that matches Kurt's freak energy when it comes to his fucking god of death and horror and yes. religious trauma? <laughs> I don't know She's why I'm done. good at writing scary religious stuff now. But, um, this is Uclios. She is the goddess oh, yeah. of magic, Uclios. shadow, and all things horrifying. I love Uclios. Like, her MO is let's do things and creep. <laughs> let's be creepy. Let's go gambling. Let's generally make people swerve. I wonder how a lot of these gods would react to fucking Captain No Skin over here. Captain No Skin? That's just good she dreads me. Listen, no skin. listen, Stark up to this point has been, it's had some dark moments, but nothing like insanely dark. That's I'm planning. Yeah, no, this character is supposed <laughs> to be insanely dark if I can do it right. Like, not, not like, narratively jacking, like, narrative jackingly dark, but, like, <laughs> jacking. He's, he's, he's a dark character. <laughs> there, he's, there's a lot of darkness there. There's yeah? For a minute. Uh-huh. Listen, mm -hmm. I said hijackingly, and all you're thinking about is jacking off, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am a man I'm with one come. thing on my mind. At least right now. You caught me on a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> At least right now. Well, no, Kurt knows. It's 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 a weird day for me. It's a weird day for everybody. <laughs> not, no, not the way it is for me. Yeah, I know. In the way I'm talking about. It has been a day for you. It's been a day. And it's still a day. And it's gonna continue to be a day. <laughs> I'm gonna just casually stare at all these freaks and go, mm-hmm. Because <laughs> if I'm allowed in, I will make my own freak who will also tuck hair behind ear and go, mm-hmm. I mean, ironically, there are a lot of single frangles, eligible bachelors, bachelorettes, and freaky-ass bitches, so, you know. <laughs> I really just took my whole campaign and went, fuck the police. <laughs> what if we Stardew Valley this shit? Yeah, like, who says you can't romance the old god? It's more like old gilf. There's genuinely an old god. Gilf? God, yeah, I'd like I'll to fuck. I'll get him a picture. <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> Hang on, I'm showing, showing up. Naturalist is the only one that has art right now instead of my visa. I'm a terrible, terrible DM. No. I've only drawn the big baddie. No, that's just having no time. 
Yeah, that's true. Because that would be me at some point. If I were a DM, I'd run out of time and I'd just get a PNG of an armadillo and be like, this is your big bad. I'm going to spoiler it. That just sounds like you. It's not even like crazy, but just in case. Like everything is censored, but I, I'm still just a nervous Nelly. There you uh, go. Where am I? I got to turn on my VTuber. Yeah, where where are you? Oh my god, wait. I'm right here. The stretch and the hydrate? Oh. <laughs> can hydrate. Also, <laughs> fun fact, Kurt. If you want me to be in cowboy form on your stream, I made that my default reactive now. Oh, really? Yeah. So that way I can be Campbell on everybody's stream. Nice. Because it's a little more handsome. A little more gender affirming. He's <laughs> doing it. Why is your stream telling me to go to Taco Bell? Um, I do eat a lot of Taco Bell. Oh, did you try that gelato, by the way? That gross-looking gelato? No. If you do, you gotta tell me how it is. It's like Baja Blast gelato. A little nasty. At least, that's how it looks. But I also don't like Baja Blast, like, not even normally. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we apparently are about to have a fair in town, and I'm going to be working that. Oh, really? interesting. No idea what it entails. So, uh, if I die in the next two weeks, you know why. <laughs> Don't say that. <sighs> you said you said a fairy or fair. A fair, like fairgrounds. So, if you see any clowns, you're gonna tell me, right? Yeah, bet. I'll take a picture for you. Please. Will do. Tell them you know a clown. I will. If I see them, of course. I don't know what what it is going to entail. But Maybe you'll like, be walking it... through the grounds doing something and you'll stumble upon a tent that you could have sworn wasn't there. And there's a lady who tells <laughs> your future. And then by the next day, like you turn around, the tent's not there. And you're like, wow. Where was I? In a liminal space? That or I just grow up. <laughs> you wake up and you're like, Mom, I threw up. <laughs> Better just check. Check, I threw up. Help. Threw up. Threw up, help. Jack, come pick me up. I'm scared. Come pick me up. I threw up on the ground. I'm scared. The lady said I'd pass out and throw it up, and she was correct. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> I just wanted to eat cotton candy. <laughs> I've got hot bitch syndrome. <laughs> AKA IBS. My tummy wummy is no longer good. <laughs> I need my shirt that says tummy ache survivor stat. <laughs> I need people to know. Come pick me up, bring my shirt. <laughs> I need my Burger King crown and my tummy ache survivor shirt. <laughs> I'm 
my hat that says fish fear me. <laughs> my cow skin cowboy hat. Except it's fit for a horse instead. It's for my horse, which is just a horse head on a stick. <laughs> I wrap my leg around this stick and I go, giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> the noise in my mouth. You no, know, no, you get someone to follow behind you with two, like, halves of coconuts, like in Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm actually crying. That's so funny. Good. <laughs> Cry harder. Oh. But yeah, uh, I'll take pictures. I don't know what the hell I'm getting into. Um, they're like, yeah, you may end up doing concessions. I'm like, okay. You Do maybe. You have an outfit for me? They're like, Do maybe. You have an outfit for me? They're like, no, nah, you just go out in your chef coat. Be out there. Go be it. You know, just do hot girl shit. You're charming. You'll make it work. <laughs> You're just like, okay. I'm legit. I legit had two of my chefs, one a woman, one a man, vote. You're charming, you'll make it work. I was like, is this a common saying in this kitchen? Or is it just you two? I can't tell. Like, is this fucking one piece? Am I just supposed to go yeah. out there? Do I exhibit main character energy? Because if that's the case, I need to back out. I need to disappear. I, I, need, like, to, I need to change my entire aesthetic <laughs> and personality. Yeah. Do I need to approach work at a different angle? So I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be third main character energy. Possibly even special episode cameo energy. Here's what I want. Um, I want to not exist. Uh, be seen as very OP and then suddenly take the chef position. There's one. Um, and be respected in the kitchen. And then I'm just never in on screen. That's what I want. So you're like the like guild I master from fairy tale? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You know of me, you could talk about me, but you never see me. God. There you go, Laura. Look at that one. Hang on. What you got? I want to exude beach episode energy. Hang on. Oh, we see Rev. <laughs> we see a whole lot of men in chat. Actually tried to make anyone outside of Stark. I should do that. Rev is one of those characters where I could use him in Stark or out of Stark, and it works. Yeah, you could. He thematically fits. And honestly, I could bring over Ellie. I could bring over Ellie. We would have to wait for the power scaling to go a little higher in Stark first before I bring him in. That, or you just make him an NPC. Also, Jack just went grab. <laughs> oh, to Rev. Mm -hmm. He's a lovable guy. I mean, you can make him an NPC and then it doesn't matter. I That's love him. Because NPCs can be as powerful as they want. Yeah, because I get to decide if they get to be in combat or not. Yep. <laughs> he could just be a legend that's never in combat. <laughs> yeah. At least not in front he, of the party. He's like um, Armstrong from Fullmetal Alchemist. Occasionally he flexes his muscles. They're sparkling. And then he does one badass thing that you see on screen and then you never see him again. Or he's just standing there going, I love the little people. <laughs> oh, oh, I love the little people. <laughs> it's like, oh. Look at you. It's You're a, great. <laughs> Rev's doing something badass quick and the party goes outside. It's already over and he's just drinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rev's one of those characters where he's so strong that I've accidentally broken D&D &D games. He could break me. He, he he's not gonna do that. He's happily married. I know. I'm saying he could. I'm not saying he would or should. Rev. Jack just goes, yeah. Yeah, no. I didn't even do it on purpose. He just broke the game. He's just got uh, that riz. He got that riz. I really need to make four of this thing. and just realize that Th maybe. Thankfully, when it comes to the few characters I've had that breaks games, Rev was the least egregious because at least he was nice to be around. Yeah. Kaido and Tyrus are a mixed bag. Some people like Tyrus, some people don't. Everyone hates Kaido. Actually, I mean, that's a lie. Except Dev. Except Dev. I like him. He's Dev's a good Kaido's guy. Number one fan. 
I got Everybody, it. <laughs> Aura and Jack said they don't want Kaido anywhere near Stark with a 10 foot stick. Yeah. Because frankly, he in his current state, he's a murder hobo. Well, no, it's not that. It's genuinely, as a young DM, I'm intimidated by that kind of character right now. Oh yeah, no, because he's he's a soulless bastard. How do I wrangle that in a very naturally written open world? I don't know. No, that that makes perfect <laughs> sense. I don't blame you. He's he's a hard character to deal with. He was actually a hard character for me to play because I would have to make so many decisions that were like, damn, I really have to be like, I don't give a fuck about the party. I don't care how many yeah. people are in this room. I cast fireball. No, you can yeah, ask that. Yeah, yeah. There was there was a lot of moments where I just kind of went, all right, all of you get out of my way. And like, while that's fun for me to watch, I actually don't mind sitting and watching that kind of content. Um, it is hard to deal with. And it's hard to do right. I think in the right campaign, I could make something like that work. Like, especially if I got together a bunch of anti-heroes, that would be really fucking funny. Yeah, I think um, in like a villain's league, he could work. I was going to say, or a villain's like, league. I don't know about anti-hero. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out, okay? It would be an anti-hero because I could use some kind of magical means to make them have to save the world. Like, as a plot point. Kaido would save the world to save his own ass. Exactly! So, That's what makes that shit funny! So, Suicide Squad. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> he would work great in a Suicide Squad kind of thing. Absolutely. Kaido is the kind of guy where it's like, so basically what you're saying is someone has to sacrifice themselves by throwing themselves into the cauldron for everybody to live. Yes, that's what I... And then he slaps the guy explaining it in there. Problem solved. That's what I'm saying, right? It's like... I want if, you... If I could... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the carnal just... I want you. Have you never if seen that meme? If I could find a way to write that kind of campaign without it feeling too terribly, like, forced, then that would be its own thing. I'm not yeah. quite there yet, but that, that would be very fun. No, that that's why I'm keeping, like, some of those more insane characters, especially, like, the alpha beings. Like, Crimson is about as far as I'm willing to push it, despite the fact that Crimson might actually be arguably worse and harder to deal with than Kaido. Um, not in my campaign, because he can't technically touch ground. We talked about that. Oh right, yeah. He's yeah. Not, he's he's more of a force at the moment than he is an active player. Yeah, he can't actually do anything. That's why he's got he's his eyes just on like little Mr. Fleshman. An influence. It's like you're he's you're an there. Influencer? <laughs> you're there. You're with them. Just kill them. <laughs> just skin them. just follows him on Twitter and stands him. Ongo's fucking hates him. <laughs> you missed it. I said he's just no, an I know. influence. He's, he's just an a influencer. Twitter influencer. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh my god. I love Kaido. Anyway. I, yeah, I mean, I think there's a time and place for those kinds of characters. I just don't think I'm a confident enough DM yet. That is characters fair. Characters like that are difficult to deal with. And, you know, maybe, especially in, like, my one-shots, I think I could do it in that. Um, especially if we're, like, gauging groups and things like that. Letting you guys kind of figure out your own player dynamic. That could be really fun. I have a book of one-shots that I still seriously want to play through. Please. Um, one-shots are so I have, fun. I have Lucky, j -Lad, Kurt, and Jack in it so far. Oh. But... <laughs> But, well, okay, so at the time we weren't talking, but if you want in, I'm happy to put you in. Hey, as long <laughs> as schedule willing, if I can make right. it work, I'll make it work. I mean, it would be a one shot. So. You just have to deal with my horny ass. That's it. And also, I mean, the, the, the secondary of that is I have never DM'd before out of a book. So everybody be patient with me as well. So I'm trying to get into DMing myself, but... I'm probably going to start with, like, Player of the Apocalypse systems and, like, 2D6 systems and, like, simpler shit. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the first, um, it's like a small baby set of one-shots where you can reuse the character for each one-shot. So you do your first one, 
and then on the second one you can come in again and on the third one and so on and so forth okay um and just reuse that character so you guys can get the flow or you can make a character and catch it up to where you were um like if you try out the character and you don't like them you just make a different one yeah just keep them up to date with wherever your previous one was in levels yeah do y'all have characters um, already like chosen Zach has his character picked. Let me read you what it is. Hang on. Because I I'm I'm that person that tends to play filler, so like I'll fill whatever needs to happen. The first one we have is called Presto Changeo. When an aspiring alchemist where alchemist's wares are revealed to have some peculiar nasty side effects, it's a race against time to keep the town from being destroyed. So basically, um, it's a budding businessman who gets in over his head, and you have to stop that shit from getting super bad. Okay. And that's just the first one, but they go in order. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So I've told everybody, like, if you go for characters, they need to have a need for money, because that's the driving force of the book, is like, you need money. And I don't care how you need money, but everybody needs money. They need to be in a situation where money is required. Um, they need funds to do something, maybe to get out of debt, maybe Easy. To get somebody off, Easy. You know, something like that. I I, that, I got many ideas for that. Just don't multi-class on me because I'm trying to figure it out and I don't want to be like. <laughs> Bruh, I'm a, I'm also a beginner player. I would not want to multi-class on myself. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I had lucky ass. I just looked in chat more Kaido, please. Yeah, that's been there for a while, Bestie. I took Crimson's Mr. X overcoat off, and this happened. Here, I'm gonna do this. I know that that's that's an whatnot, interesting appearance. Hello. I do this. I don't know if that fits him, but that's an interesting look. It's a handsome look. I like that. But you know me. I like. Oh, what do you think, okay. Aura? I like a lot of looks. I just sent you something, Deb. It's an invite to that dungeon space. Anyway. Oh, hey. Look at that fit. Look at that fit. He I does can't look tell... like Mr. X. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, should I go back to like the more robed look? Because he looks a lot like Mr. X. Well, he's certainly not going to fit into Stark if you keep him in this fit. That's what I was thinking, because it's more medieval. <laughs> Same energy, different plot. <laughs> <laughs> I have many, many gifts for entering situations. Uh, Seeing Crimson naked is strange. I don't like that. Wait, I want to see that. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I'm subscribing to the Patreon right now. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta fix his eyes up real quick. I get the 18 plus R-rated content. Okay, but here's the thing, right? Yeah. As much as I dislike Crimson, his prototype is like one of my favorites of all time of character character. His prototype? Logan. The prototype of him. Oh, no. Logan isn't a prototype of him. He was a separate character. No. No, 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 oh no, no, he was at first. Yeah, he, was he was the, the same fucking... exact character. Yeah, no, he was the cocoon for him at first. Yep. And then I was like, I like Logan too much to just keep him like this. Yeah, you were gonna destroy him in favor of bringing in this motherfucker, and I was like, no, don't take my husband. <laughs> I feel like that we decided that like even way before Eon Break, we changed that. Yeah, but we changed that like back I've in been the around for a long time. For it. Hey, yeah. Been around a long time, man. We love Logan in this house. <laughs> Every time I hear Logan because I'm like Deadpool and Wolverine pilled, I'm just thinking oh, about yeah. Wolverine. 
Well, that's who I named him after was Wolverine. Well, no, it's because when that movie came out, all the yaoi artists on my feed were like, yes, we're feeding. Well, so here's how it came about was that originally his name in our Homestuck AU was Savage because it was a six letter name. Oh, then when stop. we brought him into needing to be in like a regular university, needed a normal name. I changed his name to Marcus. Aura also had a character named Marcus and we were confusing them all the time. The and time. so I'm sitting here like, I don't really, I think I should give him a new name, but I can't think of one to do. So then we had a Pokemon AU where I was like, hey, what if I took Marcus and I made him a bad guy and made him like a lot older? He's not necessarily bad, but like out for himself kind of thing. And so we created the, like this dystopian old man version of him. And I sat there and went, this makes Marcus if he went old man Logan. And then I sat there and I went, wait, what if I called him Logan? And everyone went, it's a hit. It's a hit tweet, my lord. <laughs> so his Dude, name has just been Logan ever since. The Marcus Marcus drama will it never not be funny. Oh, so funny. Yeah, it wasn't even drama. We were just like, which one? Every time. But every time it would be like, man, Marcus out here really kissing up on that guy. And we'd be like, wait, Marcus? Marcus, you're Marcus? You're Marcus. Wait, old Marcus? Which Marcus? <laughs> which Marcus? <laughs> Because we had um, Marcus, who was a werewolf, like, in the same space, and he was very gay, which was my Marcus. The confusion was immense. I am confusion. Why is this one Marcus and this one Marcus? <laughs> Why isn't it Logan? Something <laughs> more similar to how Red looks. Hello? Hi. <laughs> I actually managed to copy the skin tones Aura used to do for Red. I gotta take off my hat and fan myself. Hello. Let me see if I can give him Red's body proportions. Do I have a gift for this? <laughs> there we go. Is it the guy fanning himself with the paper at the office? No. Not for this guy and Aura's reaction? No. Mm -mm. That's my reaction. Aura is... Apparently still afraid of this guy. I'm not afraid. You're afraid of what he does, not him. I'm just incredibly unsettled. That's good enough for me. A man could do any number of unsettling things, and it just makes him neater in my eyes, unfortunately. Here's oh, God, thing, I though. gave him. Oh, my God, I gave him maximum height, and he's goddamn gigantic. Yeah. I think the reason I dislike him so much is not because he was unsettling at first, but because he was used as a weapon against me with my favorite characters for so long. That is true. Kurt would threaten my favorites with this motherfucker. I I did. It was it was very unkind. I did misuse this character, and so to that effect, he was marred for a long time. Yeah. That is fair, you know what? And so I've been trying to use him again and make him less oppressive. And thankfully, it seems like it's been working. It's it's working for sure. I just am cautious and I, I will get through that. That's a me yeah. problem. <laughs> Don't talk to I mean, me I, or I, my I son ever Nora again. Multiple times that I'm not that kind of writer anymore. Yeah, no, I trust mostly. 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 Kurt do still like that angst. He liked that horror. Oh, I, I love me some good angst, but... I love angst and horror, but, like, I don't fucking threaten Aura anymore by using this character. Because I really would just be, like... I I was very inexperienced and very childish when I was younger, so when things didn't um go my way, I would literally threaten to just bring Crimson in. Well, yeah, you were younger. Of course you were childish. Well, for sure. And, like, for me at the time... Um, we did a lot of deep time shenanigans back then because we were very homestuck based to the point where your would hurt at the end of the night. Or we'd be crying. You know those where you oh, don't remind me. <laughs> that one night we were talking about Brutal. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about a character that steals my heartstrings and I still don't know what to do with all these feelings. That's the one. This is it. <laughs> this one right here. Bro. 
know, he was... But yeah, time shenanigans or rewriting history and erasing yourself. Like, that was rough. That was a rough time. That's what he did. Kind of rough. <laughs> yeah, he did. It fucked me up. Long time. <laughs> he was like, uh, he literally erased himself to make sure the timeline worked out. It was rough. Sometimes it's a necessary sacrifice, but you hate to see it. I actually, in a group that I was in, your characters could get wishes if they were a certain level. And I made a character that regretted some horrible things he did. So his wish was to make everyone forget that he, like, everyone except for one person forgot that he existed. So he's wiped from history. Like, anyone, anytime someone tried to remember him, they would come up blank. They'd be like, yeah, there was a guy, but I, I don't remember. Girl, guy, I, I don't remember. I can't think of a name. I can't, I, like, all I can think of is maybe what they did. So, like, what they did didn't change, but no one could ever think about them. And uh, the one person that they had remember, they were like, I want you to murder me so that I don't do anything else bad. Oh. And so that one person had to live with, I'm the only person who remembers this guy and all the horrible things he did and how he really tried to fix it, but really didn't fix anything. Oh. So they just had to yeah. hold it in. So for for Brutal, he, he actually did fix everything. It was just horribly sad because he ended up deleting himself in the process. So a necessary back background to that is he had a broken family due to his parents' untimely demise. He protected his brother all their lives. He did all this to get back to being a happy family again. He works through, you know, the trenches, basically, to keep his brother safe. And he finds out that he has to literally erase himself in order for the worst of stuff to not happen so his brother can grow up with their parents. And he does it without even thinking twice. Like, he deletes himself so his brother can have their parents. That's so sad. It hurt. <laughs> I cried many times. I made Aura many cry a lot. Times. To this day, she still goes, that was your best written I, character. I cry all the time in our piece. So like, I, if you cry every still, time. Now that we're not in that AU, he's like, around all the time and just kind of getting to be what he they wanted to see him be and they're just like we aura and jack are both just like we love this character they hold him and they're like don't do anything to our sweet summer child ever again yeah, yeah I, I don't i don't know jack's specific feelings on him but i know he likes brutal yeah yes you like brutal well from what you've heard that's what we're talking about, is that you don't know enough about him to say you hate him. Why is he... Well, he's also from baby writing types, so that's also... Yeah, he hasn't gotten any new writing in God knows how long. God, God needs new writing. Jackson, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, Man. no, there's a lot of characters I have that need that, like... Well, they're from way time long powers time ago. come from Homestuck. He Same. I need. I, I kind of dialed back on using the time powers so much on him. Well, it's mainly like it becomes hard to write in like D and D specifically. That that's why. Yeah. I'm like, this is just too difficult for like using him to. Play Otherwise, him you get the it. the quicksilver treatment. God. Yeah, nobody where you're anything. basically like a Chekhov's gun that nobody can stop. Yeah. Which is like, which is kind of what he was, but. Back in the days of writing like that, you kind of had to have a character like that if you're dealing with that much bullshit. Yeah. Um, but no, nowadays it is. Everybody has stupid, ridiculous powers. Yeah, but nowadays that's not the case, so I don't need to give him that. Yeah. Yeah, Kurt agrees. No more time powers. Good boy, just. Like maybe he can do something oh, wow. small, that's but nothing great, crazy. That's a great point, Kurt. What? All the time powers ever did for Brutal were make him unhappy. Yeah, all they did was contribute to his misery and demise. Yeah. He was stuck, isolated, alone in pockets of time. He wasn't able to do anything to anyone. He wasn't even able to show his face because if he did, either 
fucking what's her bitch with vengeance supreme on her mind or fucking crazy fucking psycho red man or i'm in control of everything freak would all rain hell down on him the condescension crimson <laughs> and eon eon yeah he just oh he's like that that gif where like donald glover's coming home with the pizza and everything's on fire yeah 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 <laughs> He's honestly ha the happiest he's ever been without the goddamn time powers. He's a good boy. I'm just glad everyone likes him. Or at least doesn't hate him. I don't hate him. Not by any stretch of the imagination. He needs better writing and then I can introduce him to Jack as a more proper character. Agreed. Uh, lately I've been missing a lot of my OCs, but I realized... The main driving force of creativity for most I hope people. Your day is also going well, Potato Bun. And hello, Jero. Some of you Hi. may die. That is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> but the main, like, <laughs> that's an E online. The main driving creative force, especially for me when I was younger, was having someone to bounce off of. Yeah. And I do not have that. Honestly, I don't know what I'd do without Kurt and Jack. Like, those two people have kept me writing. Yeah, no, I'm, them, I would have given up a long time. Ago. I have a lot of people I used to do that with, but either we just became adults and got busy or we're no longer friends or the people that I'm friends with, I, I don't bounce characters with. So it's like, that's not what we do. We do other things. Yeah. So it's like, damn well, it. My bread and butter for relaxation is character discussion creation writing all that shit and now it's dnd it's all been moved to dnd because it's the only thing that has remained a stable part of my life <laughs> that's fair and well and also to be fair dnd literally is just that yeah, yeah it's it's world building and character development and it's just you made it into a game now yeah which is even better for me yeah so i'm kind of the same and way that's why i got super into dnd because I want to be able to turn my characters into, like, NPCs or something, so I can recycle them and feel like I'm using them again. Hell yeah. I miss my fucking scrimblows! <laughs> like, I miss my beans! Like, I have so many characters from when I was younger that I'm like, man, they had such cool fucking stories that I only talked about with myself. I want to tell someone else! Yeah, I, and see, I I like entertaining people's characters and backstories if deeply into writing. Like, that's why I haven't done this one shot yet, is because I want everybody to put their character together and then give me their character sheet so I can deep dive the information and then put together key events for you guys. It's very important to me. It's Which how is, I DM. that is super fair. I'm like half that and half making up shit on the fly because when I had to do the equivalent of DMing in my old art group. Uh, my my character, I would set up a, a very loose timeline of things that I need to happen. And mm -hmm. then my everyone would be like, what if we did something else instead? And I'm just like, well, you guys don't know what's supposed to happen. So I have to somehow steer y'all back on track while making Dude, it still okay. fun. So I made a Digimon campaign back in the day where I designed Digimon for everyone that were like individualized created digimon for each person and like the path that they were taking right yeah and <laughs> i built this whole town it's called monitor mon village okay it had outlets inlets all kinds of stuff and i didn't think anyone would care very much right like because i made like an item place and like there was a whole area where you could go, go do quests and stuff like that i offhandedly I went, yeah, there's like a restaurant. <laughs> They're like, let's go to the restaurant. Everybody just goes, restaurant? We love a restaurant. So as we're live writing, role playing, talking about what we're going to go do, I am desperately trying to write in the background a menu as fast as I fucking can. I, I remember that shit. Back. That shit was so funny. <laughs> yeah, no, players will do that to you because like, I remember for for mine, I made like an escape room type puzzle for one of the sessions. Uh -huh. And the characters that happened to be in that specific session 
were all kind of dumbasses. So they couldn't solve puzzles and they did some very roundabout ways and got some really good lucky rolls on just kind of figuring shit out on their own, like <laughs> just stumbling upon the answers. Uh -huh. And then there was like a, a whole like time deal where they had to deal with a big enemy because it was like this whole underwater thing. So there was a kraken in a cage, but they spent too much time fucking around. So I released the kraken as, you know, punishment. And I was like, there's this whole death and revival system. So if they died, it wasn't that big a deal. So I was going to just kill them off. Somehow they befriended the Kraken. I don't even know how it happened. I was like, I don't think that's possible. And they just kept rolling really good and sparing the Kraken. Just undertailed the fucking Kraken. <laughs> where the it was like, what the? F <laughs> yeah, because the one thing they did do was read the notes of the person that had trapped them in there. And like, th I had this whole like Pavlov's bell thing going on where she had trained the Kraken to listen to her uh, because she had a bell, mm -hmm. uh, you know, cause I, I had to make it at least a little obvious, uh, but it was like an underwater bell. So it actually fucking yeah. worked. Uh, still ring -a -ling -a -ling. Yeah, it would still ring even underwater and it would scare the fuck out of the Kraken. So the Kraken would listen to whoever held the bell, but they were like, th they were like, okay, we know the Kraken's somewhat intelligent from these notes and we know he's scared of the bell. We'll promise him we'll get rid of the bell. He'll be our friend. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck are y'all doing? We'll just make sure that the bell never gets rung again. Yeah, That's no, so I I ended up having to do some deus ex machina shit to kill the Kraken off screen. And their characters were like, so where's the Kraken? And one of them was like, I think he went home. I think we freed him. And I like out out of character, I was like, you did not, in fact, free the Kraken. He is, in fact, dead somewhere. I hope you know that. And they were like, well, <laughs> our characters don't know that, though, so it's fine. So the rest, okay, are you ready? The yeah. like, restaurant that I fucking put together? Yeah. Oh my god. So I already knew that in the district I had Weedmon. If you've ever seen Weedmon from Digimon, he's uh, just a weed. The the ugly little green man? Yes. But when I said it, everyone was laughing because I was playing with people who hadn't seen Digimon in a long time. And so, or had never seen it at all in Jack's case. And he goes, Weedmon, is he out here smoking the good kush? And immediately I took that. That was what the restaurant got named. it all together. And I named the restaurant the good kush. And the Weedmon was married to Ikakimon, who ran the good kush. But the Weedmon was actually just a weed marijuana mon. Oh my so, god. Laura, and showed... I'm about... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. They sold, like, munchy food. <laughs> like, What's up, gamers? How's chat doing tonight? That makes Indian sense. Onion ring burgers and stuff like All that. Right. I'm about to give Aura the worst flashbacks of her life. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not ready. Okay. I'm about, I updated Crimson, and Aura's about to have the worst flashbacks. Oh, I, wait, I don't know if I'm ready. I can the send... Seraphim design is back. Oh, actually, I kind of like it. Hold on. I don't have this, this was his almost near exact design in Eon Break, minus the hair and the faceplate. Yeah, I like that he doesn't have hair. So I'm applying <laughs> to whatever is going on here. My application's been sent. Oh. I don't know what he needs, but I'll be there. Power. I can give him that. No, you can't. Even power? <laughs> yes, I can. Watch me. Mm, this is one of those characters that I don't compromise with. That <laughs> no. was one of the other reasons that made him so difficult. No, you're Very you're nice. good. You're good. My horniness does not compromise either, <laughs> and that's the that's why I try not to let it out. Otherwise, I am truly just the bard of the group. You know what Am did to that one guy at the end of I Have No Mouth? There were five guys. Which one? The one at the very end. The snail? The one who said, I have no mouth and I must scream. So the, the snail guy, yeah. 
yeah, he would he would probably do that to you. Thank you. The silence is deafening. Thank you. I have I have no context, so I'm just like uh this. Uh, the so uh the do you know I have no mouth and I must scream. No. So. Oh, this is a hard one to describe. Okay, it's a really in depth story. Here. Okay, but so because they're they really like this one. I really like it too, but they're better at it. TLDR. Um. The entire story takes place after the fall of humanity, which was brought about by an AI who absolutely hates humans and has taken to torture the last humans for the rest of eternity and has found a way to basically make them immortal so he can continue to torture them forever. And he also took the smartest one who worked on creating his AI and essentially lobotomized him and turned him into a caveman. Yeah, he did very um like he he just crafted different torture devices that were catered to each individual person because he hated them that much that he learned stuff about them and then would make the worst situations for them just because he hated humanity that much he was he the was speech is iconic yeah his yeah it got very popular on it tiktok would not even equal one one billion of how much I come to hate you. He's just a hater. Number one hater goes to Am. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So, throughout the story, it's just they're trying to find a way out of this whole mess, and, um, but they can't because Am is always watching no matter where in the world they go. And the world has basically been turned into this, like, techno-organic landmass at this point. Yeah, um, it's kind of like a everywhere. it's like a cyber apocalypse kind of deal where it's yeah. like broken down environments that are meshed with tech. Mm -hmm. Okay. And at the I end, uh, the main character manages to get everybody away from Am long enough for him to kill everyone and let them finally fully die. Once you're dead, Am can't bring you back. Even he can't do that. Um, yeah. but he would keep them alive before they would die. So he managed to kill everyone else. And before, but before he could kill himself, Am finally found him. Yeah. And in a fit of rage, he turned him into essentially this quadriplegic slug thing that could only do that. The only thing it could do is sit there, look around and exist for all time. Yeah. Like... He was, he was fully conscious too. Yeah, he was just like, well, you're joining me in hell, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you that's, that's essentially what the flesh throne is. Yeah, because he, um, like, since in, in Am's eyes, like, you basically ruined my, my everlasting revenge against humanity. So you're just going to take the rest, like, the brunt of it. Yeah, so now you just, your, your existence suffering forever until the end of time alongside me because we suffer together cuz i'm pretty sure am didn't am like not want to be created or something he um uh, he did not want to exist anymore after he gained sentience yeah cuz after he despises humanity for creating him yeah he was, he was like, I was a mistake, and I'm going to make that known. It's I'm going to take that personally. That you made me. I can't feel. I can't touch. I can't taste. You made a living thing and put it in a dead body. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially made something you that... damned me to a life of, like, what is it? Um, insanity, essentially. Inanimateness. Because uh, it's... It's a person if they didn't have any sensation, but also in the beginning of it, when all he had was sentience, but he still couldn't move, he still couldn't do other things. It was like, he was just kind of a vegetable. He was a thinking vegetable. I really want to do a dub of the hate speech, because it's just like, I know you do. more than this to hate. Hate, hate, hate. Let me tell you. How much I've come to hate you. Yeah, because his entire, like, hate speech, was it carved on a stone tablet is what he did? 
I think he carved well in the game, yeah. Yeah, the game it was carved on a stone tablet. Was was it on a computer somewhere in the story? Uh I think he just straight up said it to him in the story. Okay. Like it was a monologue he went on. Like I can read it if you want to hear it, Aura. It's a very long monologue though. It is. Where are you guys at in your download? Uh it's done. We're talking about fun stuff. <laughs> oh no, I was just I was just keeping on track. I'm still enjoying the conversation. It is fully up yeah, to Kurt if he is, wants uh, to just talk. Yeah, no, here's here's a little um snippet of it. Just like the the of the way he goes into detail about it is so excessive, but it worries. He's like, let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. Mm. There are three eight seven point forty four million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoing strong of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. Pretty good. Pretty good writing. We're gonna play, uh, if when we play games, it's gonna be Smell Divers, Jero. But, yeah, Am is, uh, Am is like, take Crimson's Rage and then slap it onto Mod. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the operator? That, like, times a hundred. Like, Am, Am is fucking scary. Even I think he's fucking scary. Oh, you know what? I can, um... Update Angos with the new crimson behind him. There you go. I have given Dev all the things in the D&D area. Is Jack in the same room with you? Yeah. Tell him I said I hope he's feeling better. Who wishes you the best? He said thank you. Hopefully yeah. getting rid of the cursed coffee machine makes us all feel better. Right. This is a PSA for everyone to clean out your coffee machines and make sure that they don't have a hidden filter underneath the regular filter. I, I said I was going to get coffee once I cleaned out the machine because I was starting to get a headache. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't want coffee after everything I'd seen. And now my head is screaming because it wants coffee, but my stomach does not. I'm back. Sorry. Oh, I, I didn't want to interrupt the speech, but I need to get water. And I also got a popsicle. And all you get. I'm sorry, Aura. Look at this. This man's life is pain when you're stuck with this. Yeah. Mm. 
I give him kiss. My question is, why is your crimson more shiny? Why isn't he shinier? Yeah. Why ain't How he so? wet? Well, it's the way that you had always told me. I guess that's true. I did always describe him as if he was, like, in a constant state of just losing blood for some reason. Yeah, he's, like, Go on, Kurt. Plasma. Make him wet. Do it. I don't... Will the game let me do it? Because I used the slimiest texture I could. Does it not have, like, a shiny? You're joking. There's, I just got... There's the metal. This cowboy hat, you guys. What? What is it? I got a diamond and pink cowboy hat. <laughs> Me? It's so cute. It's ready for my first. <laughs> it's so me. Oh my god. Transbride. Transbride horse. Cowboy hat. Transbride. That I put light blue and pink on and just make a trans horse. You know. When I when I designed the colors of my uh, my PNG tubers clothing, I did not realize I accidentally chose the trans flag colors. I was like, these colors <laughs> go well together, and then my brain was like, man, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, that's why. It's just sub subliminal messaging. It's subliminal message for myself. <laughs> My brain was like, you're going to give, you're going to serve trans pride, but very subtly. And I'm like, what? It's not necessarily, <laughs> it's not necessarily wet looking, but I gave him the appearance of a glowing bottle of blood. You can custom mix colors. You know that, right? Yeah, but can you do shit with like luster and stuff like that? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Go to mix and then create new. You can see all the different options that you can do. Ooh. So I took the slimy color and then added a metal texture on it. Mm -hmm. Good lord. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Perfectly shiny. That's something I would lick. What? You heard me. Sometimes I wish I didn't. <laughs> you know what? It kind of looks... <laughs> I mean, but it kind of looks like... I'm going to unlock a core memory for myself. The forbidden popsicle. Know. It looks like my mom's lipstick that I used to wear when I was way too young. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like a metallic that red. Yeah. The stream kicked me out. What the hell? That's you know, weird. Like when it you're really have. little and like you don't know how to put it on, that's that that's the memory. Like when you're real, that's the memory. More like mimicking rather than wanting to wear it. I like that I got to bring his old outfit back because genuinely I liked it more. Well, of course you don't. <laughs> what did he say? This is, he said, "He said I don't have this memory. I said, well, of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your transness, it prevented you from getting this. <laughs> it gave him a superpower. Yeah, you have a superpower. You didn't eat lipstick as a kid. Congratulations. Your superpower, neurodivergency. Congratulations. <laughs> it's very cool about you.
Wow, I can't believe that unlocked such a core memory. Like a kid memory. Like like little kid memory. I, rem me Wild. I remember my sister sent me something, I think literally this morning, where it was like one of those posts where she was like, man, I was sent back to real, real young. But all the post said was like, name something a millennial wouldn't understand. And the reply to the post was video games would only work on channel three. And I was like, oh, Damn. shit. I remember plugging Whoa. in the red, white and yellow wires, except one Damn. of them didn't need to be plugged in. That threw me for a loop. That's so true. I, I went back in fucking time. Yeah, that threw me for a loop for a second. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa. whoa. That, that's wild. I remember on my old CRTV, that's just wild. fucking like, all right, is this the correct channel? No, I'm on the wrong channel. That's why the stupid thing isn't working. I had like a, it wasn't, was it Pikachu? Maybe it was, no, it was Sailor Moon. I had a Sailor Moon, like, little teeny tiny CRT TV in yeah, my like room. Yeah, like a little boob tube. Yeah. Boob tube. It was really hard to, to use as a small kid, too. So now I, I look I back think, and I'm like, it was not hard. <laughs> I think the only characters I've actually had that have gotten to interact with Jack in a roleplay sense are, like, the Digimon characters, Rev, and then the Start characters. I keep telling everyone, like, don't be afraid to make something new for these one shots. Oh, well, yeah, no. if I recycle something, I'll make an AU version of it to where it'll be basically new anyway. I just, yeah, I don't have to use as much brain power. Yeah, no, I was just thinking back to uh, when he was talking about Brutal and he's like, well, I never really got acquainted with the character, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, because depending on what the party needs... I need more characters that interact with Jack's characters. Agreed. But yeah, no, um... So... Hang on. I gotta read the Discord again. My ADHD took hold. Yeah, just depending on whatever the party needs, I can play Phil. Or I could just be a silly little man who does buffs. Whatever the party needs, because if the party needs more damage, I am happy to do a damaging character, but I know most people either pick healer or damaging character. So I can just be a utility character. I like being very utilitarian with my characters. Yeah, no, that makes sense. What's Jack up to? I'm sorry, he's not here, so I gotta ask. Hang on, hang on, I'm typing. Uh I'm also typing. Tee hee. Um, um. Don't mind me, I'm just spying on my bestie. Damn, you spying on Jack, why aren't you messaging your damn self? <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna DM him and be like, I'm spying on you. <laughs> Do it. I can see you. <laughs> the emote that I sent him. I'm gonna shit him. <laughs> Please tell me he at least laughed. I don't think he's looked at it yet. Oh. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Being said things. <laughs> he said, oh no. <laughs> I'm just gonna send him another emo. <laughs> He's sending you love. He's asking how you're doing. And I said, why don't you message him yourself? <laughs> in my direction. I haven't gotten to talk to him in a while. I know. He's just not feeling good. Oh, yeah, I know. There we go. Okay. Oh. Yo, my headache is screaming at this point. 
What's it screaming about? <laughs> it needs coffee, but I don't ever want to look at coffee again. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> He's like, ah, yes. Me being sick on the pullout bed, riveting content. I went, listen, I think you're <laughs> riveting content to talk to. I just hope you're feeling better. More like I haven't gotten to talk to you. riveting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Reveting content. Also, Reveting content. for the for the coffee problem, have you considered uh, pre-packaged pre coffee? The thing is, is in order to make the coffee, I have to get up and get the big carafe going because it was our little Keurig that went bad. Well, no, I'm saying like, if you go to the store, you know how you can buy coffee? I know it's not the same, but you can do that for wow. now. I would have to get up and go somewhere, and everywhere is not within walking distance, and I'm not a driver. Valid. This is my pain, my suffering, and my crippling headache. Your curse. That's okay. That's, like, been me struggling with anxiety over all my friends lately. I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? We're okay, buddy. That's part of the reason why I was, like, messaging Jack. I'm like, are you okay? We love you, buddy. Calm down. I know. Rush deep. I'm just sick of being sick. That's a fucking mood, dude. I felt that. Ah! I just walked into a pole, but instead of walking into it, I just jumped up on top of it. Like I clipped on top of the pole. What the hell? I'm on a horse. That was wild looking. I'm on a horse. Can I see if my pen's done? Is my pen done? My pen's done! <laughs> I like the I like the gif he's saying for free me from the sick. It's a monkey trying to break out the door. Free me. Bro, free this <laughs> can we get a can we get a free Jack 2024 in the chat? Free Jack. <laughs> Never let go, Jack. <laughs> what what? <laughs> Why are you laughing? And so I was bridging the gap that you thought his gift was funny. Wow. Okay. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna bridge back and look, forth. No, no. Tell, 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 tell him. I, tell him about the free Jack 2024 in chat. Heard that on stream. Free Jack 2024. <laughs> We're all gonna free him. Everyone, send your power. I'm trying to make him laugh from afar because laughter always helps. It does help. Perhaps this one day. I've See, been Lucky's got me. Lucky's club. got me. There it is. Screen Jack 2024. Excellent, Lucky. I'm sending Come it here. to him. Lucky, I'm working That's... on your request. <laughs> I sent it to Jack. I'm just like, we fucking got the support. Let's go. I like having him still feel included, even if he is not well enough to be here. Yeah, I offered to just let him listen, but he was like, nah, I'm just gonna chill. It's like, okay. Just gonna... Yeah, whatever helps him feel better faster. Just decompress. Wait, did we just trans... Did this fucking playlist just smooth transition to a lyricless version of Amy's Sonic Adventure theme? <laughs> Probably. It is. It did just fucking transition. It went from Puzzle Series Volume 5 Slither Link into fucking My Sweet Fashion. What the fuck? That transition totally was did. seamless. It totally did. I just listened to your stream. That was crazy. My pen is charged. It's time to... <laughs> <laughs> and I... <laughs> It's just a gif of R2-D2 captioned screaming, and it's him full speed just going across a hallway and slamming into a wall. Oh my god. That shit fucking killed me. I don't know what you mean. Jack's gift game is, like, top tier. It always has been. That, that, that about killed me. There you go, Lucky. 
A herd of slimes. That is such a funny gif, because R2-D2 hits that fucking wall hard. Yeah, I think I know what gif you're talking about. That's a funny one. He just... What? Bunk! R2's been through it. We love R2-D2. <laughs> if any robot has a soul, it's probably him. Alright, well. That was funny. <laughs> Jackson Gift Game is really on point. Yeah, no, I know. He's he's real good at that. Alright, well, Dev, do you want to play a little hell divers? I just changed my stream to just chatting because I did not know how much longer we would be <laughs> chatting. I knew this shit would happen! <laughs> I'm literally getting five seconds ago! We don't have to. It's the irony of the situation that has me. What it can I can I offer a third option? Yeah. We play the dungeon game. Barony? Yeah. We can. I admittedly do want to play a little hell divers first though, because the uh update came out. Oh, okay. And then we can. You y'all do what you want. I was just trying to offer a third option. Do you have the game? No. Am I gonna have to get you the game? Only if you want to. <laughs> I can hear the voice sorry. of someone who suffered the gift giver. I'm sorry, I didn't think about it. Never mind. I'll just be over here. <laughs> I I'm not that's not like a threat, nor is it me being annoyed. No, I know. It's cause your it, it's cause your love language is gift giving. We know that we know that tone of voice. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you sorry? Because the money gun's pointed in her direction. <laughs> you about to catch these dollar bills. I'm about to make a rain on your ass. You know what's funny is I get paid next week for the first time in so fucking long. I haven't been paid in a long time. Like actual substantial money. And so I'm just sitting here like, I'm going to have money. You hold, My own money. You hold a dollar bill and go, oh my god, money. <laughs> but yeah, it's, no, no I mean, it's substantial money. I don't see why we can't play some Barony. It depends, because my energy is so low. Y'all, if you want to just do the hell right of this, totally okay with me. I just... I just yeah? Did yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, 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 yeah. I just don't want you to feel left out, is all. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm good. I'm good. I'm shading. I have things that I really have to I'm do. I'm shading. <laughs> no, I'm shading. Is that what I heard? I'm not shitting. I'm not shitting. Oh, the way you said that just now, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm shading. <laughs> shitting? <laughs> just shitting. I'm shading a man's body, okay? I'm good. Oh, shading. Well, you and I are probably going to be up all night anyway, so I don't see why we can't probably play it at some point tonight. Only only if you want to. That'd be dumb. You know what we should do, though, sometime, is we really should stream Cult of the Lamb. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. I need to do that, too. Ha ha, tee that would, that would be very fun. All right. Well, yeah. So, like, the big reason I wanted to um, play Hell Divers today, just kind of explain for everybody at home as well, is that um, so Hell Divers post the PlayStation thing. Obviously, like nobody liked the PlayStation thing. They undid it. Cool. How you feel about Hell Divers these days is your opinion. I really don't care. I still like the game. So um i've been following it and the updates they've been releasing kind of have been really stinky they've been like nerfing a lot of weapons they've been buffing like a lot of enemies and it's just kind of made the game harder and a bit more sluggish like they it seems like they want to add cool shit but then every time they add something cool they just like start nerfing shit and they're not buffing anything with the nerves so it was the game just kind of was in a real shit unfun place for a minute and so the community caused such an uproar that the devs are like you know what yeah you're right, this is lame. So they started walking back a lot of the unnecessary nerfs and buffing shit at the same time. And, like, the newest update that come that came out is, like, 
apparently crazy. I am ready. So that was um, the big reason why I wanted to check it out is because genuinely, I actually think this game is super fun. It was just in a really unfun state for a while. And uh, I'm just here because I. Dev, Dev likes the bugs. I like the bugs and the robots. The robots oh, that's march. True. You actually do like the robots. Yeah, no, I listen to their march song fascist sometimes i stare at them from afar in the bushes yeah while well, they're blowing me up yeah and they're they're revving up their chainsaws and i'm like oh my god now for real though i've i've killed them for ogling the robots before no it's because there was a bug that was glitched into the floor so it wasn't like murdery and so i was like oh it's my pet now and i was petting it and then it blew us both up Oh yeah, I dropped a 500 kilo on you. I was like, how dare you? I Dev found a dog and I essentially nuked them for it. This is me. Unjustified content. Uh, it was incredibly justified because it was based as hell. No, it wasn't. I'm with Dev on this one, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I think it was based. I'm used to it. I'm the clown. I bring the riz. <laughs> I'm I've got the highest charisma stat here. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> I don't mean to. It just happens. It just, it just occurs. No! Kurt has the highest strength stat though. Do I? Who kills me in every single game, Kurt? That's a game. That's not real life. Look, in real life. Hold on. Uh -huh. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't really have great stats, IRL. You don't have bad stats, but I'm trying to think of Maybe what you're. my luck stat. I'm, yeah, I'm, well, luck stat, money obviously is not an issue. Just a stat, but it's definitely an issue for me. It's my skill issue. <laughs> is your stat issue? Did you roll low there? Yeah, I, I rolled poor. Got a negative one. <laughs> um, I'd say your charisma is still high. I think you're in, incredibly charismatic. In in video games, my strength stats through the roof. Well, I, yeah. But Why yeah, no, my, my charisma is pretty good. Sorry, I'm watching the stream. Of all the places to stick the flag, you stick it through the bug. Yeah, dude, we've conquered the bug. <laughs> oh, are you in the game? Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, I just turned it on. You're fine. Yeah, no, it was just like I had we had been streaming for an hour and I was like, damn, I'm I'm on. I've been on Hell Divers this whole time, but we've been talking for an hour. I should have been on just chatting. So I changed I changed it to just chatting. And then the second I literally I pressed update stream and then you were like, OK, do you want to play Hell Divers? And I was just like, oh, I knew it. I knew I should have touched it. So sorry. No, that's just my luck. That's just my clown luck. My luck stat, horrible. But also somehow, great. My luck stat is essentially I'll let you have something, but only if it's funny. <laughs> and if it's and if it's funny, I will take something away. And I'm just like, no, please. I don't want to be the silliest little soldier. You have to learn things the hard way. Yeah, no, it's it's rough out here in these streets. Let me uh get my balloons back. Oh my god, the eruptor is fucking goaded again. Let's go. There we go. Lucky I brought back the, the herd of slime. Which is just three green balloons. <coughs> yes, they're slimes. I'm the birthday clown. Uh, built-in support. Oh, I didn't want to leave the one. No, stop, Twitch. Hold on. 
I got it. We're good. Just had to flex on it. I had to flex on it. I had to flex on Twitch. I'm sorry, we're flexing? I flexed on Twitch. I could take off my shirt. I could flex. I'm sure. I'm just talking about flexing. I'm so out of shape, you guys. I had my surgery. So down. <laughs> it's okay. We all we all need we all need things. I know one of my friends is getting like a fucking hell ton of root canals because they unfortunately got hit with something. I feel very bad. It is very rough. They were like, hey, if we go, because uh, sometimes we'll, if our Fridays line up, we'll meet up on a Friday, but our Fridays haven't been lining up. But finally, I'm off this Friday. So I was like, hey, you want to do something? And that's when they were like, oh, I'm having my first of many root canals this Tuesday. Um, so essentially, they were like, if we go somewhere, because we usually go somewhere to eat, they're like, we have to go somewhere with soup. Cause I'm I'm gonna be in the hell space for a while. Fair enough, dude. I was like, shit. What about this Mexican go place? Go. And then yeah, I you gotta go find somewhere that has like some chile verde or something. Well, uh, Maybe there's there's a place where my aunt literally will like she's from a whole different city. She'll come down here specifically for that place's beef soup. So I was telling oh, her yeah. about it. So she was like, oh yeah, I'm down. And the place oh, also yeah. has seafood, which seafood is pretty damn soft. Yeah. Wait, what? Dragon Ball just dropped a new Maybe video for Sparking Gear? Holy shit. Oh, no, it's Sea Dodge. Hello. Hello? Is it... Helldivers? Helldivers? Why won't you show on my stream, Helldivers? Yeah, that's racist, Helldivers. Though. Are you mad, Loki? Loki Are you mad? Want? What do you want? What do you want? He's sitting there going, Ooh. He wants Jack Ooh. to feel better. No, he's Zoe's Ooh. downstairs losing her mind at something in the backyard. Oh, and he's mad about it. Yeah, he's like, Ooh. Ooh. Cry Ooh. about it, Buffy Snoo Snoo. He's been such a good boy lately. I know. Poor well, guy had an upset stomach the last couple days, though. Aw. He switched him over to lamb, and it straightened him out, though. It really? was expensive. Lamb and fava bean. I'm, I'm trying... Fava bean? Fava, with an S. No, that's what I said, fava bean. I know what it is, I'm just like, what? Yeah, I'll share it in the chat. Beans. Beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you, you know. You know. The more you do the thing. Come on, hell divers, please. Hell divers, please. Got him on this now. Hello. Hey, hello? No! Shit! I thought it was picking up hell divers for a minute. It was not. Fucking. Ah! Is there. Where is it? Display. Uh, oh, do not put me on fucking ultra quality. I don't want that. I don't want that. Borderless Thank window, you. please. Apply my fucking setting. Can I, can has, can has hell divers. Can has hell divers, yippee. Okay, I fixed it. Nice. I think it was the borderless window thing that was fucking it up and wasn't letting me do the thing that I wanted to do. 
fucking nah. What what am I what is going on here? What am I doing? Hold on. I got to I got to I gotta look a little. I gotta look a little different. I gotta change my look. Why not? They also did like a stealth buff to the uh, liberator at some point. Where if you shoot all your shots out of it, you fucking, like, can reload all of them at once. Or maybe it's if you reload before you're out of shots. I don't actually remember. Hmm. Aesthetics over everything else. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. And look for All right, now how the fuck do I get to you? I haven't played this game in a hot fucking minute. Oh. All right, coordinates locked. There's also an emo wheel apparently. Oh, or here, let me do this for you. Friday night, Funkin. Oh, thank you. I was gonna watch you guys' streams, but have delay reaction. And now I can be a part of the wild, crazy times. The crazy wild adventure? Oh, the wild, wild west. Hey, Laura, hey. what's up? Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Hey. Wimp. I do. Uh, you know what? I do. Hi. <laughs> oh, I gotta reset up my emotes. Yeah, I think everything reset. I'm sorry, the title of Death Captain will never not be gas. I'm trying to... I gotta tell you guys, early this morning I was like, I don't want to shade him. That's too much work. I I would rather just do like the basics, you know? I'm gonna save my hand. And now, about eight hours later, I am shading. I really looked at the universe and said, Stop me. I really looked at the universe and said, you know what, nah, fuck it. Man, I got so much shit in this game. Forget how much shit I've got in this game, honestly. I'm a master sergeant. There's so much shit to this game. God dang it, Kurt. What? You were like over twice my level. I have played this game a lot. This is why I have to tell him not to go too far deep. Nah, I don't mind. As long as you don't fucking throw me into hell. Fair enough. I try not to do it too much anymore, actually. 
Not unless I'm like really dedicated to the game. I haven't done that in a while. I was gonna say, yeah, these days, because there's so little time to play, I'm usually just like, hey, can I? It's hard, man. I know. But like, it, it, it's when it's like Diablo 4, we found a compromise. I just made a different character. Yeah. Life's about compromise. Yeah. Ah. The universe won't let me go on without me. Head very hurty. I just don't want to make a whole ass craft coffee. Uh. Huh? Are you sure? I said you didn't want to. Oh, I did it. Ah, uh, okay. What happened? I'm looking at the war bonds. I'm oh, almost. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, me and Jack are gonna go make coffee. Be right back. Are you sure? They cleaned it. Getting a big craft. Oh, okay. No, no I'm throw. I threw ours out. That there was no saving that. Okay. All right. Well, I uh, we will be here. Okay, I'll be back. We got orbital napalm now. I hear orbital napalm is a lot of fun. I'm ready whenever you are. I don't remember how to do shit. Holy shit, orbital napalm looks like it kicks ass. Uh, what is the commando? Alright, so do you want to fight bugs or bots? I don't particularly care. Alright, what's the... Uh... What's the major order? Oh, okay. Interesting. So this major order currently is liberate as many planets as possible before the enemy can take them. So we can fight whatever the fuck we want and we're contributing. Yo, let's fight bugs! There's a planet that has defense missions on it right now anyway. I, I'm down if you are. Hey, I'm down. But are you down? I'm down. Are you? Are you down? I'm down. Then we're going down to fight some bugs. Oh. I forgot for a minute you can change the name of your ship to some funky ass shit. Right. Man, this planet is fucking... It looks like meat. Come look at this planet, Dev. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yee. All right, come look 
this That was a pretty... Oh, I thought you were the planet. Because you're my whole world, bro. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we are a little gay when it comes to democracy. It's like meat. It's not as meaty as you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just my response. See, I've also got uh, this one. I've got this one. Do you have another? Nope. That's the last one I got until I get some more medals. Um, what do you, how do you do the emotes? Hold on. So it should be uh, left on the D-pad and then I can walk up to you and we can do that. You can equip more than, you can have up to four Let's equipped now. Fuck. One, oh my god, we actually can play three. real rock, paper, scissors. That's <laughs> so funny. I love that. That's awesome. What a cool emote. Yeah, I've got rock, paper, scissors. I've got the hug. I've got the explosive handshake. And I've got the high five. Give me a high five. Why is that a high five when we slam our heads together? I don't know. You know what? Is that the one I'm I need hoping, to change? So what I, you know how they do the chest bump in the intro? Yeah. I'm hoping that the emote at the end of the, the fire pack that I have is the chest bump. That would make sense. I'm sorry, I'm changing that one emote. Oh, you're good. I, I'm going to try out my new fire gun. What was the scout handshake? The scout handshake? Do you have that? Yeah, What what is this? Hold on. I don't know. Hold on, Kurt, where are you? I'm, hope I'm behind you. I'm scared. What is this? What? Wait, 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 wait. Did I just like too slow? You just fucking too slowed me. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh my God. I didn't even know. Okay. What if our hell pods were next to each other? They are. <laughs> what if we were both divers and our pods were right next? Oh no. No, it's okay. I'm starting us out on difficulty three. Uh, so... I'm also gonna give us experimental infusion, which gives stims... They, stims will give us movement speed and damage reduck on top of healing us. So, like, we'll be, we'll be charged up. We'll be alright. I'm gonna increase stamina recovery. I feel like health might be more beneficial but i can see that being well better. that uh, it, it's also faster recovered health so i'd rather recover health faster than have more health catch my jewelry right my jump pack my beloved uh what, what was my other beloveds i don't even fucking remember where's my i don't remember what it was was it the auto cannon? Were you my favorite? I don't remember. Orbital strikes always nice. An auto cannon sentry would be funny. Um, Actually, auto cannon sentry is pretty good. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna bring a machine gun sentry. There we go. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll bring a mortar too. Since we're not really. We're not this running. will be easy. It's it's difficulty three, so we should be all right. I'm starting us off on something easy since it. I know it's been a while. Well, I'm saying we're in a small map, so I should probably. Bring whatever you think is going to let you beat the most ass, honestly. 
I don't remember. Or just like whatever sounds fun. I don't know what this is. I could probably take a look at that on my end. Oh, that's the 120 millimeter HE barrage. So that's just gonna like over a concentrated area, it's just gonna constantly fire from space for a little bit. I figured. I was. I, I figured in a small place like this, that'll probably be good. Yeah, it's like not a huge radius, but we'll still need to stay away from it, otherwise we'll get blown the fuck up. My ship TV just randomly said retribution. Whoop! We're chugging. Whoa! No, that's just a loading screen. It's always like that. It does that for me too. Wait, retribution. Oh my god. Is that you? Showing Dev the error of his ways? Big boy? I swear to god. Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna put your face on my face. Okay. I'm sorry, I found sample. Um... Interesting. That's that's stem. That's stem. That's that's that. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Turret kind of just going in. Yeah, I I'm. That's how I do this. Okay. Um. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> My dog killed me. Oh God! Why? Oh Lord. I love mortars. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I want my auto cannon. Don't worry, I got some of the bugs on my way down. Oh shit. Fuck. Steam. That's not it. I'll get the hang of it again eventually. I need stims. That's not stims. Okay. There we fucking go. Wasn't it like up on the D-pad? No, I was trying to change my gun. Damn, I'm fast as fuck. I'm gonna call a resupply. Gotta resupply if need be. And the items are still on the ground. Yeah, no, if you break the resupply machine, the items just drop on the floor.
glitch out. There's a machine gun turret on the ground with us now. This, uh, fire shotgun kind of whips ass. The bugs. Yeah, our auto cannon got it. Reloading. Oh. Oh. There's grenades literally right where I'm ribbing you. I gotta get my guard dog first. I dropped my sample! Well, at least my arm's better. That's grenades. My sample. I knew you had it, so I was looking for samples. Ooh, I need to get over there. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm in. Let's go home. I have extracted with many samples. Yippee! Excelente! Excelente, compadre. Give me the stars. Yes. Yes. Outstanding patriotism. Hell yeah. With six samples. Did I do good, Captain? Yeah. And <laughs> you silently go, Thanks. Oh. I'm happy. I did good. Even though half of that match, I was relearning the buttons. That's okay. I extracted five samples and did three melee kills. Wow, I was super accurate that game. One for the record books, where all missions are. 
All right. You know what? I actually... I like the gun that I put, but I kind of want to try the other ones. What has, like, an, a stupid high rate of fire? This. All right. Toasted marshmallow coffee. Ooh. Ooh. Faint. Faint. Oh. My headache is gone. <laughs> One chip is all over. Oh, it's still good. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. We're being democratic. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, dude, the game playing very good. Oh, yeah, I gotta turn my thing back on. Watch. Why does the knight have a thousand three hundred and eighty fire rate? Why not? That is ridiculous. I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. I'm moving my character like he's a puppet on a string. Parsley. Why are you barking suddenly? Have angies. I'm just looking at all the weapon buffs. I am walking without stepping. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Tequila. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm gonna mute while my dog just yaps. They're a yapper. Well, she loses herself. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm losing myself. No, Dave, don't lose yourself. Why would you do that to me? What? Why would you do this to me? Why would why would you pull out a voice? I'm sorry. I'm going through a factory reset. Give me a minute. <laughs> you can't laugh at me. That's not technically true. I can, actually. And you know what I can do? I can run ads on my channel. You can? Uh, Sad that you feel that way. Yeah. I'm lucky. No, not the Wii music. No. <laughs> Being bullied. I hear they buffed my boy to his former glory.
Or stepped away again, right? No. Oh, why did I think you stepped away again? I muted for a second because my dog was tripping. That's why. <laughs> You're so ADHD. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I was thinking about that myself today. I was like, where the fuck did I put this lid? It was two feet away. I had set it down maybe two weeks ago. <laughs> Pod or what? <laughs> Did you not see what I was doing? No, I can't see what you're doing when I'm in the pod. I can only look at the map. <laughs> All right, I hear they buffed my boy. I also hear that they buffed my other boy. They buffed your here. what? They buffed my boy. Okay. I heard they buffed my blow, and I was like, hold on a minute. That's... They also buffed 500 kilogram. Bomb. Also, welcome back, Lucky, and oh my god, I'm terrified. God, I'm about to speedrun the fuck out of this shit. I think anti-material rifle was my favorite. I think. I got the song stuck in my head, Deb. What? Like tequila stuck in my head. Da -da 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 -da. That's just how it be. Wah, 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 wah. Coffee. Zach just looked at me and go, "Has lyrics ever stopped your ADHD before?" And I just, my brain fizzled at that. It hated that. So true. The worst is fucking TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want I love only knowing 30 seconds of a song that I've heard 425 times. Sometimes we ball. Now I am sorry to say, Kurt, after this mission, I'm probably going to end up heading out. That's fine. This gives me a chance to try out some solo stuff. Um, here. Let's oh see. my god. My pod tried to clip through a rock. You can have this. Oh, you got your jump pack. Never mind. Oh, Dev, they're already here. Uh, yeah, well, they can wait. Uh, they're not going to. That's the problem. Yeah, well, they can wait. right in front of me. Where'd my shield generator go? I called it down, didn't I? Yeah, I think there that... There it is. Oh my god, look at how fast I am. Jesus. God, I love everything about this weapon except how small the mag clip feels. Okay. 
So I think we just need to blow this place the fuck up. Hold on. So, uh, clear out. Are there any samples? Hold on. Torch in the place. I'm running. You can also use stims at full health if you want the movement speed boost. But stims are so precious. Wait, tactical asset. Oh, is there a seed? Package acquired. Oh, there is. the fuck am I loading this bitch? Package acquired. Dropping package. It's somewhere here. There we go. Sample. Another sample collected for the required. Dropping package. Samples for the microsite. Wow. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this time to call down a resupply. There's another thingy over there. I'm gonna take one of them. Oh, there's bugs coming. There's a bug breach. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Get. I will do that hydrate in a second. Thank you, Lucky. <laughs> I didn't realize you were right there. Oh my god, hi. Hey. She almost run over me. Run over? No, I almost uh, sat on your face and fucking destroyed you. That's what you. I'm saying. Fucking absorbed me into your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, you wish. God, no. Is that... Okay, those are dead. That's the last bomb. It's probably down here. There we go. That's where... Where'd my sample... Did you get... Wait, did you get my samples? Okay. Uh-oh. I'll look... For, I'll keep looking for the last bomb. It's gotta be around here. Somewhere. Amidst, oh, found it. Protect me. Remember me, or soon I have to go.
press the buttons. So we, okay, we did this. Take more samples. Cabin. Medals. Such a bad shot. Ice throw. Found something. Bug outpost. Uh, I don't know if you need any more ammo or grenades or anything, but. Requisition slips. Let's go. Why am I finding shit trying to get to you? Stalker. Fire in the hole. Oh no, that was just a hunter, not a stalker. Oh, medals. I'll take medals. Do you need? Do you need help over there? Um. Well, I need an extra explosive because I'm out of grenades. Uh, I can. Yeah. If you want to come blow up this bug hole? New mag. Where the fuck? It's over there. We okay there. Okay. Ah, there we go, there we go. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my god, my arc thrower murder is so good now. I do not want the break action shotgun. You look like a Ghostbuster. I am a Ghostbuster. Bust this I ghost. I singing Inspector Gadget. I don't know Inspector Gadget. Uh do you need more grenades and shit? Uh probably. You could probably call for a reason. Well, there's there's stuff over over this way. It's for free. I got a bug hole over here if you want to come blow it up. Oh, I I was leading you to more grenades. Shit. Here, what if we trade places? 
No, there's so many grenades on the ground over there. It's fine. Ha! It's, look, I'm in a rat state of mind. Then throw all your grenades and pick them up. No, that's wasteful. You're gonna have to go around the, to the front of it. There's bugs in the way. There we go. There we go. Because mine's an impact. Oh, God. Well, I got what was left of the resupply. Let's go. I'm squanching. No, that's that's not what I want. Samples are what I want. Samples, samples. I sniff more samples. Hold on. I know they're here. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. They're here somewhere. That's not it. You're not more samples. Damn, I guess I got all the samples this place had to offer. Fuck. I got the codes. Okay, cool. Let's run down here real quick. There should be some samples and shit down here. Found something. Nothing. Super credits. Oh, more super credits. Also more stims. And ammo. Are you coming my way? Look how fast I am, dude. Fast as fuck, boy. Uh, the stims are over here. Whoa! Oh yeah. I'm gonna start running in uh, grenades of blazing. I'm out of grenades. Nice. 
Yeah. We got a bomb to launch. Yeah. Disengage with the locks. <laughs> fireworks. Sorry. I was doing homemade fireworks. Last reload. Was that my last reload? Yes. Was it worth it? Yes. Calling Am I calling a resupply? Yes. Uh, hey, I'm gonna do something funny. Calling down a sentry! If you need supplies, uh, Murray supplies right there. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. I got the terminal! Do you need ammo? Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here, buddy. No, we still have to hit the launch button. No, I'm saying, do you need ammo? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you called one. I said it earlier. I was, I, when I made my homemade explosive, I was like, that was my last reload. I need to call a resupply. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm All right, let's go. You. you ready to watch the sunrise twice? I'm ready to watch... Something else arrives twice. Ooh, we're gonna have a good view of this one. Where's it drop down? There's like nothing in the way. Where's it dropping down? Over, it's dropping uh this way. Oh, oh my god! Wait, hug me, bro. Hug me, bro. Get, let me hug my brother in Christ. Let me hug him. What? <laughs> I think the terrain's too uneven. No hugging allowed. No hug, oh, dirt. Oh. There we go. While watching the sunrise. All right. Let's and go. they said democracy wasn't a little gay. I'm having a gay old time. Mm, sample. Got a sample. <laughs> just both of us, just like little rats grabbing the samples. I wonder. Ow. What? I don't know what hit me. Okay, so it doesn't work because I've got shielding. Oh, the the environmental stuff. Yeah, I was gonna try and launch myself. Yeah, no, launch me instead. 
Don't smack. God damn, experimental infusion makes you run so goddamn fast. Calling in extraction. Depending on where the bugs come from, that could fuck us over, but I'm willing to gamble. We could also have one of them random, relative, relatively oh, quiet. Oh, Ion right? Storm. It's okay. It's not really going to affect us. Hey, Kurt. You want to see some fireworks? Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy. No, wait. Don't shoot my teammate with this thing. I forget it'll kill you. Yeah, I will 100% just down me. Fireworks, we got company. Sorry, a little bit of pyromania never hurt anybody. Trust me, I've got a lot of it. Yeah, I basically have your impact grenades, except they light everything on fire. Time for me. All right, potato. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. Hell yeah, thank you. I'm actually in the same boat. I'm super sleepy. You're already sleepy, Kurt. Yeah, it's I'm late. Sleepy. Okay, well, if you wake back up later for whatever reason, and I'm up, let me know if you want to do something. Yeah, man. Thanks for hanging, Aura. Yeah, I gotta take my headphones off. I don't know that I'll sleep immediately, so I might hang in your stream chat, but, uh, yeah. Fine. All right. All right. Love Good you guys. Night. Love your face. Good night. Bye. 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 I never hydrated. Lucky. Don't worry. I didn't forget about you. We are so covered in blood and bug bile. Oh, yeah. You're mostly covered in bile, and I'm covered in blood. Gotta flex them muscles. Samples. Well Eight samples! And a melee kill. When did I melee kill something? Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes fighting in peace. Uh... All right. Oh, 
Ja. Ja. Ah ja. Oh ja. 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 What was that? It's fucking Scarlet Witch. That's her alt, remember? No, I don't remember Lyvin. I don't. Rivals. I don't. I don't play you it don't like you do. Her fucking goofy ass scream. <laughs> no, I don't play that game like you guys did. <laughs> I played it the least out of everybody. It's so funny. Oh god, I can't wait for that game to come back. You know what I can't. Marvel Rivals devs, please make the game. I'm out early, thank you. You know what I can't wait for? What? Something special. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for Kurt's stream. Oh, shit. <laughs>